guys, guys MMA Game, game here, yeah. bringing you another video. As you can see on screen, we are looking, taking a look at my Joker calf that I just featured in my latest video. A lot of you guys have been asking in the comments questions and stuff on how I made him, how did I get him so uh, pale, uh, what photo game face did I use. So that is what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you how I made him include. I'm also going to include the link to the photo game face down below in the description. If you want to use the same photo I used, you can do that. I'm going to go through all the options and just give you the basic formula on how I created the Suicide Squad Joker. But before I get started, if you guys want, I was actually appeared on a podcast. It's called the MMA 10 podcast. I will leave a link to that. We talk about UFC 202. I will leave a link to that in the description. Uh, go check that out if you guys want to hear some of my thoughts on UFC 202. Also, if you enjoyed this video and want to see more cat videos, make sure to leave a like. But here we go. We'll start off with the general info. Basically, nothing really here. I used the freak for his uh, nickname. An interesting thing I did was made him fight out of Mexico. Some people commented on that. The only reason I did that is is because if you notice, if you change the, um, if you change where they're from, it actually changes their shirt. See, so you can get the yellow. The yellow actually looks pretty good. So that's all I was doing. I was just going through the different uh, countries to see how it changed the colors on not only the uh, shirt but also the trunks. If you can see there, and if you have different trunks, it might be even more visible. But you can change these and get like. There's not that many colors. There's like yellow, green, blue. So you can get blue. So that's all I was doing. I was just um, changing the color of the shirt. But that's something, a little details like that actually uh, make it kind of cool. But we'll keep it at yellow because it looks good. Uh, he is a lightweight. And then that's basically it on that. Now, next up is his appearance. Now, all right, next up is appearance. And as you can see, we didn't really use any of the uh, presets. We will start actually at the tattoos. Now, interesting thing that I did with the tattoos, initially, I will, I'll show you this. Now, his face originally, the uh, his skin tone was actually really pale and white. Now, you know, that was his whole body, not just his face. So what I did was I wanted to add color to most of his body but not his face because I want to keep the face looking like it's white like he's wearing makeup or something so I think I achieved a pretty realistic look and the way I was able to do that is with these shapes right here uh, these two shapes I actually put in his um, eye right there if you can see um, I think I can just move see see right here um, I just put a little see if it doesn't have it it's a little bit lighter but then you put that there it just darkens it up a little bit under the eye again these are in the shapes thing at the very bottom of the shapes tab in the tattoos you can see some of the other um, you know things I was using I was using these for the front for that mouth right there I, I sort of just made it look like a smiling face I just you can tilt it and stuff like that uh, here's where I use for the ha ha ha's I use these symbols I just sort of uh, you know sized them around and moved them scattered them around there for those tattoos and um, you know some other the the uh, the lettering tattoos are pretty uh, you know obvious with that uh, he's got his tattoo up there now here we go here's the skin ones which I actually put down first and I actually need to uh, adjust these now what you do with this is okay say this one right here I actually need to lower the opacity so if you lower the opacity to nothing check it out it's basically there's a little bit of uh, residue from the other uh, tattoos that are around him but Look, if you put it at full opacity, look, it looks more orange. This is actually the orange um, shape, just that, that shape on the bottom. But you just lower the opacity of these, and you can basically adjust your skin tone with this. And you can do this with red, too, I think. Um, you can do this with any skin tone on any photo game face. What If you want to drastically, slightly change it without doing a whole new face, you can just add these orange little orb shapes and just uh, make them, size them very big, and then, you know, you have to put them on the arms and the uh, the legs and everything. You have to cover them with these tattoos, but just mess with the opacity, and it's not, it's not too tough. It's not too hard to do, so apply that, and as you can see, I have these just all over the face, and I actually kind of want to make these a little bit lower opacity. This one on the head, someone was actually saying it, they couldn't really see it, 
but I do believe that it's max capacity. So what I can try to do to make it even more visible is duplicate it. And there we go. That actually made it a lot more visible. So there's always things that you can just do to figure stuff out. Um, look, if it goes all the way low opacity, so that actually looks better right there. So you can always improve your calf. You know, anytime you have extra time, you can come in here and uh, you know make them pretty cool. Now, if you notice that tattoo on the right arm right there, the detail in there, it's kind of hard to notice. You don't see it as well, but if you notice, I'll just tell you guys what I did for that. I basically used. I'll show you which tattoo I used for the uh, left arm or the right arm. What I did for this is look. I used a bunch. I used these to like shade the uh, the inside of the mouth. Then I used these these e a bunch of letter e's to make the teeth. I just thought to uh, to do that. Um, and then the lips are actually made using that Chinese symbol right there to make that. And uh, so that's basically um, the tattoos. Let me let me also show you the the one I used um, for the other ones are pretty easy to see. Um, let's see the one for the 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 skull. I used this skull here, and then what I did is actually use a dragon. You can't really tell because I just sort of moved it around and lowered the opacity, but that's basically the dragon. See if if I raise the opacity. It looks a bit off. In a nutshell, with the tattoos, I, I came in with an all white uh, fighter who was just all white from the game face, and then I covered him in a very low opacity of orange uh, orb shapes uh, to give him like a slight skin tone, and then I went ahead and put these other tattoos on top of that with even lower opacity as well. Um, so that's that's basically what I did to create uh, the tattoos. There's really not else. The one, the other tattoo on his face, on his cheek, was actually included. It came in from the photo game face, so I didn't need to do anything with that. Um, so that's basically the tattoos. He doesn't have any on his leg. Um, so yeah, his body, his body type. You know, it's just this third one over from the left. I was thinking about using this one, but it, you could do it. But I think he has a little bit more muscle, so I went with that one. I do wish there was like a couple more of the slimmer body types. They have a whole bunch of fat ones, but they don't really have too many of like the skinny body types, like uh, Anderson Silva type or uh, you know that type of uh, Michael Page, uh, Venom Page, that type. So for the eyes, I think I'm actually going to change these to uh, to green, or that's like a yellow. But uh, yeah, so we'll keep that. For the head, I did photo game face. Again, I'll include the link down below for the image if you want to use the same image as me. Wow, that tattoo actually does look a lot better there on the forehead. So uh, I didn't use any templates, but what I did do is sculpt, and I'm sure you guys want the these uh, stats. So I'm just gonna show these through the uh, you know each one. It doesn't actually give a, a a value. You just sort of have to eyeball it. So I'm gonna let th these play through. And then you guys can just get all these um, and put the meters at the same exact spot if you want to go ahead and create a Joker that has the same stats. So there's the head. Again, not too much off. Um, brow. And you can pause this if you if you need time to put it at the right um, way. Eyes. Right here. The one thing I did notice is that I wish... Um, the nose is a little bit too pointy. It sticks out a little bit too much. I want to make it a little bit smaller, but uh, here's the cheek. Stats. The sculpt stats. Here's the ears. I don't think I changed anything with the ears. Uh, nose. Here's the nose. When I, what I would have to do to get that nose smaller would be actually to upload a photo game side image, which I might actually do. I'm not sure though. But there's the nose, and then there's some on the bottom. There is one on the bottom of the nose width. There's that. Jaw. Chin. Mouth. I think his mouth actually looks pretty cool. Um, I, I somehow was able to get like that little smirk on there. I think that looks really cool. Um, here's the lips. That's Again, I tilted it up a little bit. And uh, yeah, that's basically it. That's all the uh, things for the head. 
Now I will go into the hair. Basically, we're almost pretty much done. Uh, I don't think any facial hair. I don't believe I put any facial hair. Nope. Uh, and I don't think there's any body hair either. Nope. So we just got the head hair, and as you can see, it's just that uh, hipster style right there. Eight rows down, and I use the green. So that's basically it. I mean, I've been having so much fun creating fighters. I mean, you could you could use any kind of hairstyle with this. You could mix it up. I mean, I, I'm a fan of the hairstyles. I just wish there was a few more of the shorter hairstyles that were a bit normal like these two. I wish there was one after this to make it a little bit bigger than this, except not this that has this weird thing. Sort of just like this, this length just all the way down, basically. Uh, but other than that, I, I like the hairstyles, uh, but I do think that this one matches him the best, so I use that one. For the fight gear, I just went ahead and uh, he actually has the uh, those fang ma mouth guard. For the bottoms, he just has the Muay Thai shorts and no accessories. His style, uh, I didn't do the walk-up music, his style is Robbie Lawler. I'm actually going to change that. It's the one where he goes like that. I'm, I think I might make it this one. It's a little bit crazy. I was going to use Mighty Mouse, so I'm just going to use Mighty Mouse's. It looks a little bit off though, but whatever. Uh, the taunt style is actually taunt style number one, as I had where he can wave people in like that with Anderson Silva. You wanna make sure to make your fighter in the creative fighter. Don't do it in ultimate team because then you're not gonna be able to uh, use him in the other modes like career and other stuff like that. But that is basically the video guys. Hope you enjoy it. If you did, make sure to leave a like if you want to see more of these calf tutorial videos. Also, remember, guys, we are selling some t-shirts to support the channel. I will leave a link for that down below. Check out the podcast I was on, the MMA 10, again, down in the description. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to follow me on Twitch TV and Twitter. Till next time, this has been MMA Game. Peace.